Good day. With the summer around the corner, it is a great time to start getting out those books and start their summer reading. With school coming to an end, internships starting, or heck, even some more summer vacation, it is a great time to really take, spend some time outside, take that time, and start reading some new books together to gather new knowledge. Today I wanted to talk about five books that I'd recommend that really have impacted me in helping me find a job or even allow me to have better connections with people who are in upper management. Now these books, a lot of times, are a little bit older and not as new. And you would be thinking, why would I want to read old books? I want something new and sexy. What I was thinking was that because these books are a little bit older, you really get three benefits. One, these books are tried and tested. They've been bestsellers for many years, meaning they're ingrained in a lot of the common knowledge in today's business world. Number two, these books, because they're a little bit older, are really the foundation work for many of the books going forward. So if you're reading these new books, or new books in around these topic areas, they're more than likely to be referencing these, one of these five books. And number three, when going to an interview or trying to land a job, typically the people you are speaking to are upper management, meaning they'll have probably read these books in the past. So when you're going forward and trying to have a conversation, by bringing up these books, you're more than likely to really create a deeper connection and even go forward and have a deeper conversation about these books. So these are my top five core business books that you should read if you want to have a great conversation during an interview. As well, most of these books were on supplementary reading lists or even textbooks for all my MBA courses and are in the curriculum for many of the business schools around the world. Book number one is probably the most impactful book I've ever read, and that is Thinking Fast and Slow by Daniel Kahneman. So this book is really the foundation of behavioral economics. In fact, it's such the foundation that this book created the whole course and the whole idea and whole education stream of behavioral economics and really the psychology around business. Now this book is quite old, but every single book you'll be reading within the field of behavioral economics, decision making, or even how to motivate your employees will re reference back to this book. Daniel Kahneman, fun fact, was actually a teacher where I did my MBA at UBC. Now this book goes over some of the foundations and tests Daniel Kahneman and Am Amos Tversky had did to really create the concept. This, go, this book goes over almost their whole career through their PhDs, even through all the research, to really see how all the tests were done. This book's a little bit more of a textbook, and in fact, was a textbook for one of the courses I took during my MBA. Although this book is quite technical, and really is written much more as a scientific paper where they have a hypothesis, they do how they did their tests, and they have the results, this book is quite entertaining and a very good read, although it is quite long, so this might take more in the summer to get through. Although this is quite technical, quite a long read, because it's connected to the business world, almost all these tests you can do day one starting out a new job, or if you're a manager, implementing a lot of these things. And because it is such a foundational book, a lot of these techniques are already in the current workplace environment. And if you've already read this book, or if you want to know a little bit more about it, The Undoing Project is actually a book written by Michael Lewis that goes over the history of how this book was created, and also how both the founders, Amos Tversky, and Daniel Kahneman started their lives and even worked for the Israeli army to create the foundation. The second book I'd recommend is The Goal. Now this is a textbook. So you might be thinking, ah, well, I don't really want to read a textbook that's boring, that's dry. Why am I doing this? I don't want to just read more school stuff. But this is complete opposite. Although it is a textbook, it is the foundation for almost every single operations or supply chain job. Every time I had an interview within those fields, I brought this book up at least once or twice. And most of the people interviewing me have read this book multiple times. And if you've read this book, you know about Herbie and his weight management issues. That's an inside joke everyone remembers if you've read the book. Now what's interesting about this book, although it is a textbook, it is written much more as a story, almost like an interactive case. We're going through the life of the main character, trying to see his day-to-day -day troubles, and really try to help him solve his own problems. A lot of the textbook and a lot of this book in general goes over some of the problems he's facing while working at a plant, at a manufacturing plant, and really you're trying to figure out how we can create a better optimization within it. As well as, the one of the key characters in this book is almost like the author speaking to you directly, trying to help you, guide you, trying to figure out really what are the solutions you come up with. Throughout this book, you'll be tested, you'll be thinking critically, and you're also trying to solve his problems. But what's really interesting about this book is I actually recommend listening to it as an audiobook. Really due to the fact that the voice acting in this book is amazing and is actually one of the funniest books I've ever listened to. So even though it's a textbook, this is super entertaining. 
On top of this, the main character has a lot of marital issues. So it's actually really interesting that you get to see his day to day life. So though it's focused really in business, you also got to see a sense of how you can better your whole life in general. Really you have focusing on the idea of always figuring out what is the goal. Now, like I was saying before, this is a textbook, but it is by no means dry. This is one of the best foundational books if you ever want to go into an operations or supply chain job because every single person, I guarantee, or almost everyone, has read this book if you're in that field. The next book is quite short. You could probably read it within a day or a weekend if you really wanted to. And that is the Sales Acceleration Playbook. This goes around the idea of how to get a business from $0 in sales to $100 million and a step-by-step -step -step way on how to get there. Although this book is quite short, it is very impactful. In fact, almost every sales job I had in my earlier part of my career working with high tech and high growth startups, this book has been on the mantle or on the CEO's desk, really for the fact that it really lays out on how to motivate and structure a sales team to get success at every stage. This really introduces you to the idea of that, how to go from you know, zero to $1,000 or zero to 100,000 in sales is much different than what it takes you to take to a next step and how you should really change your mindset, really how to motivate employees to get there. So if you're interested in really starting your own business or working in a small tech startup, this book I highly recommend. One, because it's a quick read, but two, because it is super impactful and most of the people you'll be speaking to have read it. This book is also a great book to read if you're new to a sales job because it really gives you the idea of really how you can, in your role, really improve it to have future success. Or if, like I was saying before, if you're a CEO, how to structure your sales team to, show you, to ensure you're compensating the right actions for the time. This book was probably one of the first business books I read for fun, you could say, after graduating my undergrad, but it is by far one of the most impactful books and I highly recommend it for anyone who's interested in sales and wants to take a deeper step in understanding the psychology around planning and making a successful sales team for a hyper growth startup. The next book is one I remember my dad speaking about so much was as I was a child and that is How to Castrate a Bull. The reason I remember this most likely is because of the funny name but a few years ago, I actually read the book and it's one of the most impactful books in general. It goes over how NetApp was started and really the idea of how you take an idea and transform it into a billion dollar business. On top of that, it really talks a lot about how you should really change your story to ensure you're really delivering the most value. This book also speaks a lot about culture, which I find is not often talked about in a lot of these business books. It goes over how when the business was starting and became you know, transferring from a million to a billion dollar business, how there were had to be multiple cultural changes within the organization, as well as how being a tech person and being a CEO are not the same thing and requires a lot of change in attitude and also a change in focus. And sometimes that has maybe a change you don't want to do. But the reason this book has been so impactful and so important is really the idea of it really goes over the whole backstory and gives you really the you know fails and successes as what of what it took NetApp to get to where it was today. The reason I highly recommend this book is really the story in it and also how at the end they go over their business plan. So you get an idea of really how NetApp started, really the value they were trying to bring to investors. But the other reason is because NetApp was such a big success in the early 2000s, it really is an impactful book that people you'll be interviewing with or who are in a VP or upper, man upper management level or C-level executives have more than likely have read this book. And if they have read this book, I guarantee they're going to remember it really due to the fact the book being called How to Castrate a Bull. That is nothing that's that common. You're more than, you're never going to read another book about castrating bulls. So if you've read this book and you're in the tech space and you want to have a conversation with someone in upper management, they'll remember this book and they'll have a great conversation. Even if you're not interested in technology or even interested in the whole tech space or entrepreneurship space in general, I find this book a very good insight on how to really form a culture of success. Now the next book is probably the newest book on my list and that has never split the difference. This book really goes over the idea of how to set up a negotiation and really win almost every negotiation you're in. But the whole idea of this book that makes it different than the other ones is the idea that this is a newer book but also it is much more of a story than a textbook compared to the rest. This over, this was written by the head hostage negotiator of the FBI or former head hostage negotiator and goes over his whole life and his story and how he could develop negotiation skills to really save people's lives and how negotiation is much different when people's lives are on the line because there's no such thing as winning or losing. You always have to win. And what's important about this book 
is the idea of really changing the mindset around negotiation as winning and losing tactics, but more importantly as how to always win in your sense to ensure you always get optimal results. Now, this book's a little bit different because it is not the foundation of negotiation. If you're interested in this topic, you've probably heard of the book, Getting to Yes. Now, this is probably the foundation of negotiation. Almost all executives have read that book. The reason I recommend this one is because it's a little bit more entertaining, but also really gives you a duality and a little bit more of an interesting idea of how negotiation works. Because it's a newer book, they do go over a lot of the key concepts of Getting to Yes, but with a little bit different side of things. Because it's a hush negotiator speaking, you get a little different view of really how intense it can be, but also the stories are much more exciting. Instead of negotiation, negotiating a salary, they're negoti negotiating people's lives here. Because of this intense nature of the book, it is quite entertaining, but also gives you a lot of insight onto really how to form negotiation when going to a job interview. So although maybe because this book is newer, the people you're interviewing with may, might have not read it before, although many probably have, this will actually help you land a perfect job interview, but also help you negotiate a salary to ensure that when you get that job offer, you're getting the results you want to see. And on top of that, because the book is so entertaining, this, you could even consider this book a book for just reading for fun, even if you're not interested in the idea of holding a negotiation. Now, with these five books, hopefully you have a chance to read them over the summer and get entertained. Although most of these were textbooks throughout my MBA or are on the reading curriculum of most business schools, all these books are entertaining and I've read for fun in my own spare time. And I'm not a huge reader typically, so you know these are fun, entertaining books. Now, if you read these books, it is more than likely at least one of them will have been read by a person interviewing you or a conversation you're having with a high level executive just because of how pivotal they were in all aspects of business. As well, these books are the foundation of many different aspects of business, whether it be sales, business development, negotiation, supply chain or operations management. But reading these books, you get a little bit of an idea of really understanding different forms of business. As well, I found all these books have changed how I view my life in general, making them not only important business books, but important life books. So hopefully you have a great summer and read these books and go into your next job interview or your next conversation or next coffee chat with new negotiation topics locked in your head. Good day.